Courtney Nicole Babbage, you're the woman I choose to spend the rest of my life with. Will you marry me? Yes. Oh, yeah. Work it. Work your way down now. Oh. Baby, where'd you learn to surf like this? Who trained you? Kelly Slater? Huh? Christian Slater? Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a good crack all the way up. Uh, yeah. So how was your day, honey? It was pretty good. I can't complain. Finally, Business is booming, so... Oh! <laughs> you It's a great time to be alive! I think your organs are gonna be mush after this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet Allie's gonna win. No, Marcus. Are you guys playing hot hands again? It's time to grow up, okay? I'm gonna beat you so hard. You're gonna run home to mommy again. Come on, Al, beat him! Allie, 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 Lola, stop it. Fuck you. We don't care. Nobody's going to eat it but you. You guys, 99% eat it. So how's it feel to be 40 now, Marcus? Oh, it's bittersweet, Johnny. It's bittersweet. I love you all. Thanks for being here. My God, this thing drives like a Cadillac. Why are you selling this thing anyways? Ah, it's time to upgrade, man. <laughs> Whoa. This flies pretty good, huh? Yeah, dude. You should try sport mode. What the fuck is sport mode? Well, you've flown one of these before, right? No, never, actually. Oh. Well, once I flew an RC car at my niece's birthday party. Wrecked it into somebody's foot, broke that foot. So you've never flown a drone before? I've broken a foot before. It was ugly. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I just took a fucking branch off. Hopefully you weren't too attached to that branch. I don't care about the branch. The drone's still in the air, man. If you break that thing, you bought it. All right, little buddy. Okay. Fair enough. I'm going to bring it in. Thanks for the test flight. All right. Bring it on in. There you go. There you go. What am I filming? Oh. <laughs> what was that exactly? Uh, TikTok, hello? Oh God. You talking about that stupid app with the cringy ass freaking little kids dancing and lip syncing and smiling and making the stupid little faces? Oh yeah, great. A bunch of little kids are getting rich and famous for having no discernible skill. Fantastic. Are you kidding me? There's pro athletes on TikTok. Like who? The Rock. Mariah Carey. They're not pro athletes. Harry Styles. Jason Rulo. Oh God, have mercy on us all. You better get with it, Marcus. YouTube is dead. Mila, what do you think about these two characters? And Mimi. <laughs> do me a favor, never teach her how to use TikTok. Marcus, you need to try it. It's really cool. <sighs> I'm not doing TikTok. I'm too old for TikTok. Look at me. You're not that old. Ay, ay, ay. <sighs> Marcus, one of my teachers looks like Gollum, and he's like 42. You look good for your age. Seriously? I know it will make you feel young. Come do a TikTok dance with us. Oh, my God. Mila, should I get up there and dance? Come. Do a dance with us. Now. Come on, Marcus, please. <sighs> All right. Yes! <sighs> Mila, close your eyes. This is going to be ugly. <sighs> Robin, do me a favor. Go to your happy place. Forget what you just saw. Flush it from your memory. I don't think that's possible.
What's up, Kaz? How you doing, man? Yo, what up, dog? What are you up to? Oh, I just got done babysitting my nieces. Yeah, nice. Are you still interested in running a storefront or something soon? Well, it's still early in its plan, but yeah, eventually I want to get something. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Well, I, I stumbled on a place that's available in Greensburg. Really? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I actually just got the phone with the landlord. Uh, he said we can come take a look later this evening if you want. No, I can't tonight. I got a wedding plan with Courtney, and then I have a couple errands to run. Okay. You want to try for tomorrow? Honestly, the next couple weeks are looking pretty bad for me. How about we circle back in like a month or two if it's still available? Yeah, that's no problem. Get a lot going on. We'll start the search whenever. Sounds good, man. Hey, I appreciate you uh, being the best real estate agent money can buy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Mila. All right, cuz, I gotta go. What's up, man? This is a lot of place for you, cuz. I don't know if you need all this. Oh, yeah, it's kind of big. And it needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of work. It's an interesting place. The place goes back to 1910. Everything from speakeasy to strip club to brothel. This is the place to go in Greensburg at the time. Oh, God. Where'd you get this coffee? It's shit, cuz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shit. Structurally, you're good. Roof has a little leak in it, but hey, only leaks when it rains. Some say the place is haunted. There's the one lady of the night, she's still hanging out here. She doesn't look too bad either. <laughs> hey, cuz, I don't know if you heard that. He just said there's ghosts here. Like, you want to be working with ghosts floating around here? Did you just see that fucking thing? Come on, man. It isn't that big a deal. Yeah, I'm not moving in this place. Yeah, I agree. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ah, uh, yeah. <sighs> nope. Yep. Nope. 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 So, uh, what are you doing? Tendering? Uh, slot? Grinding? What are you doing? Dude, I got off Tinder. I'm on Bumble now. What the hell is Bumble? Ooh. Hmm. So, uh, how's the search for the new Ski 19 headquarters? Ugh, I don't know. It's been a little shitty. Yeah, I mean, it took us a year to find this place, so just be patient. It's the best thing I can tell you. Oh, God. Yep. But seriously, yep. I've been wanting to talk to you. Um, yep. What are your thoughts on you being nope. my best man? Hmm? No. You want to be my best man? Hmm? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, are you listening to me? Do you want to be my best man or do you not want to be my best man? I'm real confused right now. Dude, I'd love to be your best man. Are you serious? Yeah. Dude, it's party time. Whoa, wait a minute. It's fucking party. Check out this fine honey. Bring her to the wedding? We're gonna go home. This message is for Ed LaFleurs. My name is Marcus Morelli. I have a video production company here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Ed, I'm not gonna lie, I'm looking through your window right now and I wanna be inside of this place. <laughs> Call me, please. This is him. This is Ed LaFleurs. Ed LaFleurs? Do you remember leaving me a voicemail at 2 a.m. last night? Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Meet me at the rental in 10 minutes so I can show you this place. Okay. I'll see you then. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, I'll be back, okay? Where are you going? I gotta go meet a guy about a thing. 
Who was that on the phone? Maybe that was Ed LaFleur. Who's Ed LaFleur's? I don't know who Ed LaFleur's is yet, but he might be my new landlord. I hope this is the one, finally. Yeah, yeah me too, baby. You see my hat? <laughs> Found it, okay. I gotta go. Bye. I love you. I'll love you more. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I did the math. I stayed up all night last night with a goddamn Texas Instruments calculator and did the goddamn numbers. I love you more. Ooh. Good luck. Bye. Yeah, Ed. This place is awesome. I agree. I think this place is outstanding, even though I own it. But I think you should sign a lease today. Yeah. Now, what about the carpeting in there? I'm not really Rip feeling it. Rip the fucking that. shit out. I don't care what you do in there. I just want my rent money. All right, if it doesn't come, don't make me bring Ange DeBone in on this. You know who my wife is? No, I don't. Angela DeBone. She went to school with everybody. She dated everybody. She's related to everybody, all right? And she will kill you if you don't pay your rent. Jesus. Okay, what are you expecting for a lease? I don't know, five years? Fuck you, it'll be six months. I can't do six months, six months is, what the heck is six months? I'm gonna move my shit in enough to move the hell out. Give me five years, come on. Ain't gonna happen. I loved you like a fucking son, okay? <laughs> I just met you four minutes ago. It don't matter, I'm full of love. Two years, give me two years. Okay, all right. But if you ever call me again in the middle of the goddamn night, I will find you and I will slit your throat. You won't regret this, Ed. Yeah, buddy, it's all you. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China, where the outbreak began. Today, the World Health Organization officially announced that this is a global pandemic. There goes your bachelor party. We must stay six feet away from each other, and we must avoid leaving our homes. This stay-at-home order will continue for two weeks. Ugh. Bye, babe. I'll see you later. Where are you going? You can't leave, it's a stay-at-home order. <sighs> Why do you smell like Tito's? Baby, come on, loosen up a little bit. I work alone, I'm not gonna get COVID. I'll be fine, okay? No, that's not how this works. You can't leave. Uh -huh. Why is the door locked? You know why it's locked. I know why it's locked? Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm sure I do. Cause you don't like me. Why can't I come in there? Dude, I can't let you in here. There's a pandemic. What? What's a pandemic? <laughs> You're a piece of work. There's a viral outbreak on the whole fucking planet. Federal stay-at-home guidelines that were due to expire today have been extended until at least the end of April. Hey, Marcus! Hey, girls! Hi! Look what I made you. Holy shit! You know what we should do? Put these on and play the little hot hands like the good old days. You know we can't do that right now. Well, can we hang out after this is all done and play some fucking Scrabble? Yeah, of course we can. Bet you guys didn't think you are going to see us so soon. Do you not watch the news? It's a freaking pandemic. What the frick are you guys doing here? We just wanted to come say hi really quick. Oh, God. A passionate movement for justice is finding itself swept under the feet of rampaging and destructive mobs who have sown chaos in cities across the country. As elsewhere, peaceful marchers are taking the streets again at this hour, trying to reclaim their voices and the narrative. What are you shooting on? Canon 6D. Yeah, nice. How about you? 
Uh, I got a black magic. Do video. This came from the protest. Yeah, me too. Do you mind if I get a shot of you? As long as I can take a pic of you too. I think that's a pretty good deal, yeah. So if you had one thing to say right now, what would it be? Life has a funny way of bringing different experiences and people into our circles, which then allows us to explore ourselves and who we are. So if we continue to keep an open mind and learn and listen from each other, then we grow too. Marcus! What did you do to this place? You got stuck in fucking Wayfair? Jesus Christ. Holy shit. I walk in here, I think of Steven Spielberg. Yeah, this is, Steven Spielberg would come in here and say, what the fuck? Thanks, Ed, I appreciate it. Yeah. Your place is beautiful. Who helped you with this place? Oh, my friends and family helped me out, my dad. Your dad, what, what's his name? Mark Morelli, you know? From Little Debbie. Yeah, that's him. Oh my God, you're kidding me. I know that guy. I see him up at Giant Eagle. Ah, yeah. Small world, isn't it? Very small world. Marcus, are, are you busy with work? People coming into this building? Uh, business has slowed down for sure. Um, I ain't gonna lie. This pandemic has certainly hurt my end of things, but who knows, maybe it'll pick up soon. Marcus, I own half of Greensburg. I own like a gazillion businesses. I think you need to make a commercial for me. I own that porn store down on Broad Street, make videos down there, you ought to see some of them. You could get in on that. Mm. And I own an ice cream shop. Ice cream shop sounds good. That sounds like something I could help you out with. You could pay me in ice cream or you pay me in US currency. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, we could do the ice cream store. In fact, how about tomorrow? We could shoot it tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, not gonna work. I actually have something going on tomorrow. I'm getting married. You're getting married with that haircut? What in the fuck do you call that haircut? Is it that bad? We gotta get you to a goddamn fucking barber. Who are you marrying, Marcus? Courtney. Courtney Babbage. She is a saint. When I first saw her, it was like love at first sight. I just, I locked eyes on her and I fell in love right there. Ooh. Marcus, you're getting married tomorrow, you're gonna be a happy guy. It sounds like you're really gonna be happy. Like me and sweet Ange. It's okay that she uses me for sex, but I do the best I can. Jesus. Yeah, I'm a sex whore, that's all. Gee, we were in Giant Eagle, she said, we gotta go, we gotta go, I said, where? I want you right now. Jesus Christ, all this time I thought you were just a piece of work and you're more like a piece of meat. I'm telling you, buddy. Woo wee. <laughs> 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 you son of a bitch. Here, fucking special, special guy. <laughs> Holy shit. This is kind of nuts. Ed LaFleur's owns half of Greensburg. Yeah, this dude's mafia. It's crazy. Should we invite him to the wedding? Uh, no. <laughs> I think he should come tomorrow. Big dividends, if you know what I mean. If I had to wager, I think he'd show up with a big envelope full of cash. You know that one scene in Goodfellas where they're just getting an envelope after envelope after envelope? We could be that envelope. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot in here. Is the AC on? Because I'm sweating my little <clears throat> off. Ew. Oh, God. I think I have a glandular problem. I swear to God. Why do I sweat so much? I'm ready for fall. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Stop. What happens if I start sweating tomorrow? Am I going to be judged by the group? No. <laughs> what do you think, baby? You ready for tomorrow? Yeah. I'm excited to get married to my best friend. I love you. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I mean that. It's going to be a good life. We're going to have a great run. I know we are. <laughs> I think we will, too. I love you. I love you, too. Did you write your vows out for tomorrow? Uh, they're... Right here in my brain. <laughs> <laughs>
I should probably jot those down. Just because we might be nervous whenever there's other people around. What are you gonna do about this eyebrow hair? <laughs> what is this eyebrow? <laughs> it's so much longer. I'll get it trimmed tomorrow, okay? Just don't touch my freaking eyebrow. Let me just pull it. Oh, God. gotta be normal, right? Dad, were you nervous for your wedding? Of course. It's the nature of the game. Yeah, I mean, you're taking a big step, man. And I'm ready for it. I'm excited for this next chapter. It's gonna be fun. I'm ready to settle down with my life and chill out. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll have some kids soon. Get a dog, a cat, a turtle. Oh, don't get ahead of yourself, all right? Like, you can't 100% retire. Like, just leave me stranded out here. Ugh, you know what I mean. You know, we had to cancel your bachelor party, but we still have to do that. The pandemic sucks, but 2021 is going to be a great year. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks for being my best man. Thanks for being my best friend, buddy. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. At least, what's up? Hey. Nice digs you got here, man. Ah, uh, thanks. Elise, make sure you get my good side. I got you. Trust me. It's on the right. Maybe this time. Maybe this time I'll outwit my past. I throw away the numbers, the keys. Quiet life for me.